all is well dear students parents and well wishers today we will prove that the calculations are very easy calculations aapke liye bahut easy hai subject to understanding the basic nuances of calculations jaise ki main kehte aa raha hu when it goes to the mathematics and when it goes to the calculations please remember there are only two important things one there are the only four operators addition subtraction multiplication and the division and there are 10 digits 0 to 9 rest everything is the understanding ab calculation ki jab baat aati hai to for most of the students you know it becomes a nightmare at times bacche calculations mein galtiyan karte hain aur un galtiyon ko teacher bolta hai silly mistakes in silly mistakes ko agar avoid karna hai to let's understand easy tricks for the calculations and we'll prefer to start with the first easy technique which is all about any number ending with 5 aise koi bhi numbers jinke hame squares nikalne hain and those who are ending with the 5 and then look at how things are itne easy techniques hote hain ye ek bar agar aapne ise samajh liya to ise aap life time ke liye yaad rakh paoge such is the beauty of the calculations samajhte hain in calculations ko Let's look into it. Let's say any number which is ending with a five. Its का मतलब ये हो रहा है कि fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, fifty five, seventy five, ninety five, hundred and twenty five, so on and so forth. इन सारे numbers को हम किस तरह से calculations कर कर देख सकते हैं. Let's see it. So for all that, we'll take an example. Let's say the fifty five. Fifty five का हमें square निकालना है. करना क्या होगा? Simple rule है. Rule is all about लास्ट डिजिट जो आपको दिखाई दे रहा है सिंस इट इज एंडिंग विद द फाइव एवरी टाइम फाइव होगा सो so, उसके जगह पर आप सिर्फ सीधा लिख दो ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज यू ऑल नो द फाइव स्क्वेयर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव अब बचता है द यू नो द नेक्स्ट डिजिट नाउ दिस डिजिट इसके आगे का नंबर आपको लेना है यहां पर फाइव है सो वॉट कम्स आफ्टर द फाइव वी नो दैट सिक्स सो दिस फाइव इन टू सिक्स बस इतना आपको कैलकुलेशन कर कर यहां पर लिख देना है सो वंस यू डू दिस कैलकुलेशन योर आंसर विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर यू सो सिक्स फाइव नो दैट थर्टी एंड दस दंसर इज थ्री जीरो टू फाइव नाउ यू कैन ट्राई आउट विथ वन मोर लेट्स टेक द सिक्सटी फाइव अगर मैं सिक्सटी फाइव के साथ में चल रहा हूं तो अगेन द रूल सेज इज ऑल अबाउट पांच के जगह पर पच्चीस एंड देन सिक्स के बाद में आता है सेवन एंड सो दिक्स इन टू सेवन we know that that's a 42 and the answer is 42 to 5 now the applications in multiple cases for example while calculating the pi r square to so, yahan par r square aa gaya so the moment we talk about the r square and r square if it happens to be the 25 to aapke kaam mein aayega for example if the r square is a 2.5 or it is let's say the 5.5 or the 6.5 तो क्या कैलकुलेशंस में कोई और बदलाव आएगा कोई बदलाव नहीं होगा यू कैन स्ट्रेट अवे कैलकुलेट दिक्सटी फाइव का स्क्वायर एज फोर्टी टू टू फाइव और अगर मान लो ये सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव का स्क्वायर निकालना है तो यू नो दैट इज बीइंग अ स्क्वायर तो आपका आंसर सेम आंसर होगा सिर्फ फोर्टी टू पॉइंट टू फाइव सो द मेथड रिमेन्स द सेम एंड दिस वे यू कैन डू द कैलकुलेशन फास्ट राइट स्क्वेरिंग इज वेरी इजी टेक्निक किसी भी नंबर के अगर आपको स्क्वायर निकालने हैं द गोल्डन रूल से इज यू नीड टू रिमेंबर द स्क्वायर फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन अगर आपको वन से लेकर नाइन तक के स्क्वायर पता है तो आप किसी भी टू डिजिट नंबर के स्क्वायर आराम से निकाल सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैव टू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एज फोर्टी सेवन स्क्वायर तो लिखिए फोर्टी सेवन का आपको स्क्वायर निकालना है बहुत ईजी टेक्निक है एंड द टेक्निक से इज You just have to write down the square of seven. So we know that the square of seven is forty-nine. So here we have written forty-nine. Then the square of four. So the square of four. We all know the four square as sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the square of sixteen. So here we have written sixteen. So the the product i mean 4 into 7 we know that 28 into 2 that's a 56 so is 56 ko yahan likhna hai aur conventional tarike se addition kar deni hai and your answer is available and so the answer will be as 
we know that it is a 10 so 1 goes carries so 6 6 12 1 goes carry and the answer is 2 2 0 9 such a simple is you know the calculations of squaring up you know you can try it out for the any other number let's say the 98 ka square aapko nikalna hai it is on the same line karna kya hai karna bahut simple hai sabse pehle aap likhoge 9 ka square on one side as 81 8 square as 64 on the other side 9 8 za 72 72 ka double kar liya 144 so isko cross kar diya 144 aur answer ko aapko likhna hai and the answer will be something like this this is 4, 6 plus 4, 10. So, 1 as the carry. So, with this 1, 6 and this is the 9. So, 9, 6, 0, 4 will be the answer. Hope this method is clear to you all. And so, to practice it, to master this technique, you will have to practice. And for the practice, you can take any two-digit number, just square it off and ensure that you are good with calculating of any square. I will be sharing with you all one easy technique also for any number which is close to the 50, even the same answer we can have it in a fraction of seconds. So, we will see it. But before that, master this technique. Squaring of the numbers close to 50 and the easy technique is. For this, you need to remember a magic number called as 25. Now check it For example, we will once again we'll try with the same 47 ka aapko square nikalna hai. Aap kaise nikal honge? The square of 47, 47 ka square, we know it very well. This number is close to the 50. Ye 50 se kitna dur hai, bas uska pehle number nikal lo. So, we know that 47 and 50, the gap is of 3. So, 3 ka square, write it down as 0, 9. Right? And, as I said, remember the magic number 25. Ye bahut important number hai. Ab aap kitne dur ho? From the 50, 3 and just subtract that 3 from here and your answer is available here as 22, write it down. So, your answer is 2209, simple method. We will try it out one more way, you know, let us take one more number as 46. 46 ka square nikalna hai, kya karna hai, simple, 50 se kitne dur ho, 4 paces and thus the 4 square write it down as 16 and the same 4 you have to subtract from the 25 and the answer is available as 2116 simple method now suppose if the number is above 50 pachas ki upar ka number hai to kya karoge bas technique bahut simple hai iske liye aapko karna kya hai to sabse pehle aap logon ko you know jo number which is available with you wo kitna dur hai अगर वो 50 से आगे है तो 25 में उसे एडिशन करना है और अगर नंबर मान लो 50 से कम वाला है तो यहां पर से द वे वी डिड द सबट्रैक्शन सबट्रैक्ट करना है दैट्स इट इतनी सिंपल मेथड है ये बस इस मेथड को एक बार आप लोगों को समझना है वेल लेट्स टेक अ नंबर एज 53 वी नो दैट 53 50 से 3 up है, so the 3 square as usual write it down in 2 digit as 0, 9 and the magic number is a 25, since you are above the 50 plus 3 चल रहे हो, so you will have to just add here the 3 and the answer comes out as 28, this 28 you write it down and your answer will be 2809, simple method. Now to master this art, you need to remember the magic number as the 25.